Hello everyone. Um, today I want to show you again a cool feature of Video Machine. It's, uh, or let's say, several features. Yeah, I want to show you the effects here and uh, how to use them automatically with the Auto FX. Um, so where I start? Okay, you see already here a scene is running and uh, perhaps I activate a second one yeah, to make this a little bit uh, uh, more complex. So I have two scenes. It's this one here. Uh, I explained in another video before how you can select dedicated uh, scenes here. So I have this one here selected what you already seen and this tunnel here with the uh, um, uh, circles flying around. Um, it's activated here it's green. The other ones are all red. So, and uh, to show you the effects, ah, okay, the effects I can show you like this already. Uh, so, perhaps I also switch off the uh, um, logos. And uh, go to the effect section here down, function section. So, you see at the moment purely the, the uh, 3D scenario. Okay, last logo flying in, but it's the last time now. And uh, I want to show you, first uh, effect is the stroboscope. So I can activate this here, and here can you can uh, influence the the factor to the beats per minute when uh, this uh, strobo is activated. So this you can use, and you can also uh, reduce the transparency. But uh, when you want it very light, you have to make 100%. Um, so this is then automatically triggered by the beat. But you can also use the tap, for example to just uh, uh, for a break or something, make one by your hand. For that all the time, the tap is to influence it interactively by yourself. So another function is the color correction, we call it, but at the end it's uh, a possibility where you can influence the, the color of the 3D scenarios and the whole color of the scenes. And uh, let me do this here. You see it's a little bit uh, yellow here and it's now activating. And you see it's changing here to the color is set here down. So you can make this also dark blue, <coughs> violet, or in direction yellow or red. So you, by that you can create very cool features when you have an, 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 an floor or something um, or to, to, uh, at home. And you want everything in the same color. You have also LED lightning in, in a specific color. And by that, you can also synchronize the color here of the uh, video machine visualization to your color theme of your party. So uh, this is one feature. And then we have the feedback. And uh, yeah, the feedback uh, we, we call also sometimes blur effect yeah, because uh, I activate this here, so the power is at zero at the moment, but I make the transparency higher. And now bring the power in and you see what's happening. The, the, the screen cook looks, the scene looks completely different, yeah? It's completely blurred and you don't really see anymore the 3D scenario. So you can make very cool effects with that um, to, to don't understand anymore what scenes are used. So by that also the variety of, uh, of scenarios you can build with the 3D scenarios we have in is unlimited. Yeah. Um, so, but let me deactivate this. So feedback effect I explained. So kaleidoscope, uh, don't know if I have to explain this, but uh, this is a kaleidoscope, yeah, very cool. Uh, activate and what you see is what you get a kaleidoscope <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, you also a very cool effect you don't see anymore the scene like you see it before it's completely different completely changed when you now also bring here another color in yeah uh, fantastic so a lot of things are possible and uh, yeah, touch me. It's uh, I tap you one, and you see that there are particles uh, like a rocket is uh, exploding here in the scene. And you can also uh, 
use this mode when you activate you see the 3d scene in big and you can place on the screen your exploding rockets by clicking on the place yeah you can increase the power the transparency make very big rockets fantastic so but this is all manual, yeah? When you like, you can do this. When you like to play around during the party, set, if, set points and effects, yeah? On a specific place in the music, you want to hide, uh, um, you bring it forward. But uh, you can also use here a very simple feature for that the auto FX is built in. Uh, but for that, you also need uh, movies because you see the pure 3D scenario now and I want to bring here some uh, videos in. So I set a directory. I've created here a folder, uh, skate park RV with some, some uh, it's a VJ set with skaters uh, and skate themes art um, from a big content platform for VJs in the internet. You can use also your own or download it anywhere. It's everything possible. So I bring here the movies in and as you see it's not underlined here movies so I didn't activate it yet so it's not started yeah and I also don't want to do that because I want to show you another effect you can you can now start here the movie, movies interval transparency and so on and, and top mix and so on it's it's all possible to mix okay just uh, quick here to show you what happening? Okay, video started, but this is not the one I want to show you. I want to show you how you can automate all that. Yeah. So using effects, mixing the videos, and for that it's the auto FX. So at the moment you see it's not activated, it's on neutral, but now it's activated when you press one of the numbers, it's activated. But five is neutral, so he will not change anything to the settings you have already. What you can do is you go to lower levels, and here you see at four, he is still synchronizing the visualization to the beat, but you don't bring the videos in. With three, you will see there's less synchronization to the music, with two, none really anymore. Yeah, so the scenes are running off. But this is not the one I want to show you. I want to show you more than neutral. I want to show you six. Because with six, suddenly what you see he mixes, he starts to mix the videos inside. So he mixes 3D scenarios and videos and is perfectly synchronized to the music. And you can perhaps have seen it. Uh, I know, effect he didn't use yet, uh, but he uses here uh, distortion. So he destroys a little bit the movies, as you can see. When you go now here at effects and distortion, you see what he is using. But when you go over, it's auto FX. You can't influence. It's done automatically by the video machine. When you now go to level seven, you will see here. Ah, here, uh, here's the underlying bar. Yeah, why? He uses now also feedback and kaleidoscope. Yeah, you see here the uh, the switches how they move because VJ machine completely automatically uses all the effects, mixes 3D scenarios, mixes the movies you've chosen and is completely in sync to the music without doing anything. And then you can increase the intensity of effects by going higher to at, at the end highest 11, yeah? But as, as far you go to 11, as more effects are used, as more the, the visualization is destroyed, as you see here, yeah? And the mixing between videos and 3D scenario effect usage get increased, yeah? So, and perhaps when you're at the, at the highest level of your party, yeah, perhaps you want to use 11, then really everything is used and uh, the people get crazy, yeah? It's, uh, and this just with some clicks here on the screen. Yeah? You can make a very cool party completely automatic and in sync to the music. I think not better than any DJ on the world, Yeah, but uh, uh, this is uh, everybody have to decide by himself. Okay, thank you. Hope you have fun. Share your videos and hope to see you soon. Bye.